right. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Original Dungeon. Today we are doing part eight. Uh, last episode was the special holiday episode where uh, Stee and Dan got to fight Krampus, which was freaking awesome. Uh, unfortunately, Luke had to miss out on that, even though his character was there. So uh, he has a little bit of uh, catching up to do because he didn't yet watch <laughs> the episode. Um <laughs> But uh, everything's back to where it was kind of before. Uh, they're back in the woods uh, heading towards uh, the Castle Ravenloft. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the map and move the map because you guys are heading back in the direction of Velaki Village. You are at... Um, you are just before uh, the bridge that goes over the river. You're at the crossroads that I have, uh, that I'll have marked here. Hold on a second. Let me get to the dungeon and we want to screen share, possibly if I can find the map. Okay. We're heading back to Velaki. We get to see our homeboy again. Yep. Um, so, Luke, so you are aware your uh, bronze brother is at the winery now. So that's all taken care yeah. of. Yes. Uh, everything's nice. squared away. He's there and he's safe as far as you're aware. Um, uh oh, what happened? Uh oh, I messed up the cameras. That's what happened. Uh oh. <laughs> mm. I'll have to unshare my screen. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. That's much better. Now your cameras are frozen on my Streamlabs. Great. <laughs> what is this day? Oh, it's because I had I had it. There we go. I can't have it minimized. I just have to have it open. All right. There we go. Okay. No, that's weird. Okay. Luke and Dan are frozen, but Steve's not. Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you're special. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I could I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh, uh, you boys are in, uh, heading back towards Velaki. It's a couple hours uh, hike from where you are. You're in familiar territory. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of hand the reins over to you if you guys want to discuss uh, like past the the past couple things and get caught up or whatever. Okay. Um, so. Go ahead. So we know Zeke is reliable to an extent. That that makes me feel a little better about what we're doing here. But uh, I'm not so sure about his intentions still. Okay. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> Like he was said, he looks after himself. You know, we we should trust him to a point, but as soon as the mission's over, be on our guard. You know. Exactly. You know, we should look out for ourselves. Content. Yeah, it'd be nice to have him on our side, but you know. And how far is that going to go? Yeah, I say trust nobody. You know me; I don't trust anyone unless I really know them well. I feel like you two. And I'll pass that point, and I know you guys well enough to trust you guys with my life. And I don't trust anybody else. Maybe, maybe old John. But even that good kindness of him. John. Maybe old John. But his overly kindness still has me skeptical. Speaking of old John, um, we are headed back towards Velaki. I think it would definitely be worth a stop in. Just Absolutely. Inform him of his friend. Um, I also wish to repay him for the kind work he's done um that also reminds me um bren um this ring uh take this i don't need this Thank anymore you. what is it and that's just you know that is the one that gives you immunity to poison immunity to poison okay yes and it is also a magical ring so don't let it touch any magic shit it'll just boom yeah it can touch <laughs> other magic items just not other magic rings oh okay, okay. yeah uh <clears throat> Go ahead, all three of you, just roll a uh, knowledge check for me real quick. Mm -hmm. Now, knowledge. knowledge. So just a straight up, <laughs> in, a straight up intelligence check. Wow. Oh, intelligence? Yeah. Oh, I gotta do that to me. I got a five. Yeah, I, I got a six. Zero. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> none of you are aware that if two magic greens touch, you go boom. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I'm no, just no, 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 no. Hand randomly. no, no, no. <laughs> to be fair, Santa did tell us that magic items can explode. That's very true. Yes, he did. We tell just you. don't. He didn't specify how. So. <laughs> Just be very careful. Yeah, well, that was the bag of holding that he explained. He didn't say anything about the ring. Well, no, no. He, he said, like, magic items inside can... Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. I, I suppose Thank we you. don't know the extent of that. I appreciate uh, that. You're, Come on. you're very welcome. Uh, we, we should get something ready for old John. He's done us a great service in the past. True. I do also... I do worry about... I feel... Either he's kind to us, to one bit amongst him, or he's keeping open. Is he roboting for you guys too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> His camera's frozen. <laughs> His dialogue is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> giving me flashbacks to that one Warzone stream with the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Any other words, Luke? Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. He's full <laughs> dead. Rip. He gone. <laughs> so, Eric, uh. Should we take a second to sit down? It seems that Brent has completely frozen up. I mean, I suppose we can wait for him. Or we could, you know, head to the tavern and wait for him there. Well, <laughs> let me try something first. I'm going to slap him across the face. Oh, so yeah. wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll, roll it like you're rolling an attack roll. Yeah? yeah. Is this also considered unarmed? Yes. Yeah, so I get all my bonuses. Cool. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't think I hit. Uh, nine, thirteen. Where did I put his? Oh, right there. So that's seventeen <laughs> to hit. It just barely hits his AC. His AC seventeen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I, I really... So do I roll damage? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh to be God. fair, it I am just slapping him, not like full on punching him. So sh what should I roll? Uh, just do like a don't add your strength mod or your dex modifier, like a full on attack. Just your just the the hit die. Okay. Six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully he'll come back it's... in a second. So this will. Uh... <laughs> Isn't and that's cut off. Feel you said you're back soon. Okay. <laughs> What happened? His internet cut off. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's okay. This doesn't need to be necessarily a long episode. It's just something that we can put up so we can get back to, like, the regular schedule. Right, we, yeah. I mean, we can, we can get, like, you know, ready for getting to the castle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we still need a couple items. We've got the tome oh, and the sun sword, but we still need... The only thing you're missing is the enemy of Strahd, and Zeke's taking care of that. Alright, cool. What about... Oh man, I don't have... Luke has the other part of the notes. Um, I've got written down St. Markovia's Abbey near the Mists. Um, that is What's where that the tome originally was. But the uh, the oh. Wizard of the, the Wines uh, currently ha well, had it. Now you guys have it. What about the holy symbol? Because we still haven't found the camp of the diviner. Um, did I miss something? I think I missed something. Hold on a moment. Uh oh. <clears throat> Strahd's enemy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. The tome. You gave us so much more info than I thought you originally did. Mm. Oh my god, you dick. Why did I just now see this? <laughs> I'll wait until Luke gets back, but... You son of a bitch. You actual son of a bitch. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Strahd, Strahd's enemy. The sun sword. 
Oh yeah, the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Mm hmm. in Appendix C. And that was at where, again? Uh, in the camp of the woman who sees all, the Diviner. Uh, Alright, hold on. I need to go to Appendix C, then. I've also got a note here that's really incomplete. I just have Wish Ring written down. Is that me? That's what, the, that's what Zeke's after. Oh, okay. Right, right. Yeah, because he wants to go back to his dimension. Yeah, he wants to go back to his realm. So he says. Start from the beginning if you want and say we can, you know, we need to go and get now the the new item. Yeah, I want to ask old John about it. Because I also have to ask old John why he knows the wizard and how awesome he is. What's here? Goodbye, staff. The and that his Holy nephew, quote unquote, is in good health. A new holy symbol sacred to the faith of the faithful of the realm. The deity established by the church for the original sin of the Tonic. And the virgin of Ruben and Angel. So Luke's dead. He'll be back momentarily. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we'll just say that you guys, uh, you make it back to Volaki. Uh, you guys want to. So, so the slap woke him up. The slap woke him yeah. up, yes. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we're back in Velaki. Yes, you're back in Velaki now. The uh, the the gate guard uh, recognizes you instantly and opens the the gate and goes, "Welcome back." Oh, thank you very much. It's good to be back. I I'm telling you right now, having traveled a little bit, this place is f great. I, I yes, I love this place. Um. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions real quick? Go ahead. How long has old John been here? Oh, at least as long as uh, as I've been around. I've been I've been guarding these gates for about seventeen years. He's been here the entire time I've been here. Oh, and what do you think of him? He's a nice enough old chap. I mean, he gets me my supplies when I need it. He's always got a kind word to say, and that's really about it. Okay, well, that's good. Um, and I heard recently that there were reports of houses being broken into. Has that stopped? Uh, yeah, there hasn't been an incident in, uh, in at least a week. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. No I also have a question. Yes. What time does the tavern wench work at the bar? <laughs> you mean you mean Paul's daughter? Yeah. Uh, she's there almost every day. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <Looks sick. laughs> Steve, I want this to I'm go. I'm a mother, have to. Steve, I, wa I want this to go places. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. He's back. He's back. Uh, Luke, you took. Sorry, guys. You took one d six of damage because uh, Oman had to slap you awake. <laughs> you froze up on the path. <laughs> Is that legit? One d six. Yeah, he broke your yeah, AC. Yeah, you took damage. Okay, one second. Let me roll a d six. <laughs> no, no he, he, you took six damage. Yeah. I took the full six? Yeah, you took a six. Yeah, there. I rolled a six. <laughs> you rolled a six? <laughs> yeah, I did. You bastard. Dude. Okay. No, no, you you should be happy. He he didn't let me add like any of the modifiers, so it was just the straight roll. That could have been a lot worse. Alright. But you guys are oh, back yeah. in uh you're back in Velaki Village now. Um Oman and Steve just had a word with the, the gatekeeper, and you guys are now inside the uh the town walls. Uh, what time is it roughly? Is it dark, light out? It's like midday. Midday? Alright, gentlemen. Let's say we uh, go see old John and then post up at the tavern for the night. Sounds like a great plan. I great. I need um, a drink after, after that. Uh, please remind me once we get to the tavern. Um, once we are alone in a room. I remembered something about uh, our goals uh, that I need to discuss with you boys. I think we have more information than we originally thought we did. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we should also stock up on anything that we may have lost along the way. If you need any yeah. potions or anything like that, little old John can yeah, help us with that. Little, little John can John, definitely yes, help absolutely. us. Old John. Old John. <laughs> little John is the other one. Little John's his, his <laughs> nephew? His nephew, let's say. Yeah. 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 
Robin okay. Hood. Let's, let's, go let's, go our, let's go see our man. And we must thank him uh, for the, the silver arrows he sent us as well. That was a very kind oh, yeah. gift. Of... I agree. And let's also make sure that dog got back to him. Right, yes, exactly. Yep. All right, let's go see him. I am so excited. Okay, so you guys uh, get to Old John's store, and the dog goes up to the door and greets you. Hey! Hello! Oh, Look at this, little boy. Borf. Um, oh, do I have any, like, do I have anything that I could consider a treat on hand? Uh, do you have, like, meat on you? You can give him a little piece of meat. Yeah, I'll give him a little piece of meat. Okay. <laughs> Just a he, little piece. He happily takes it, wagging his tail, and he uh, and he, he goes inside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to walk inside. I'm great. Got a big grin on my I'm face. With you. All yeah. right. So you guys walk in, uh, and you see both uh, old John and his son behind the counter, and Luke's camera disappeared again. Oh, man. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We just can't see you. Your camera's just black. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it, just, it looks like three of us are in the call, so I thought you got disconnected, and then the yeah. little green square came up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Luke's just having so many difficulties today. Oh, there, it was oh, there for a second. Was that upside down? That looked upside down. Luke? I'm still here. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> Guys, today's the worst. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I laugh at your misery. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll, we'll just continue with the... Oh, oh there it is. Oh. There it is. Hey. But where's Luke? <laughs> no, yeah, no, Luke's vanished. <laughs> <laughs> now Luke's invisible. My God. <laughs> the color's off now. It looks fine to us. It, yeah, yeah fine. it looks fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Yep. All right, so you guys walk in. You see Old John and his son behind the counter. They're just kind of chit-chatting. Old John. Hello. Well, well, oh, well. If it isn't you three. It is wonderful to see you. Um, Thank you so much for the arrows you sent. You cannot imagine how helpful they've been for us. I see that there's it's... a lot of arrows missing from uh, Eric's quiver. You must have been doing a lot of fighting. And there goes Luke again. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Is it the cam link or something? It does. No, it should be fine. There's nothing. Nothing is changed. Nothing's changed here. Did you try you unplugging leave the it and plugging it back, back again? again? It's my camera that just keeps randomly turning up for some reason. I have no idea why. It's not overheating. It's not hot. Oh. It flickered <laughs> on for a second. <laughs> My gosh. Right, guys. Oh, man. Our D&D, we have never had a clean <laughs> recording, have we? I mean, we have. Always something. Have we? Yeah, I think. Have we had a, te a tech-free? I think we had a, a couple, like one or two tech, tech difficulty-free episodes. Really? Yeah, I know the first one, my camera completely like shot the bucket multiple times because I was recording oh, on my laptop, oh, yeah. but. <laughs> All right, hey. oh. it's back again. Let's see how long it lasts. <laughs> All bets are on. I got two minutes. <laughs> Ooh, I think you're over. I think you're over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got an idea if it goes off again. I don't think it will. But if it does, I'm just going to use my old webcam. If that's the case. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it does Ooh, go high off. High def blue okay. <laughs> High def forearm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna it too high. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay. But... All right. Well, it, uh, you guys are in and back. And we're in. You, you, were, you were saying the missing arrows. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. You said that you must have been doing a lot of fighting because uh, a lot of the arrows are missing. Yes, uh, we have done yeah. quite a bit of fighting. Everything from killing Rahadin to, well, dismissing Krampus. Wait, what? Been, I also... It's been a week or two, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean... Did you, did you, old John, did you get the coins that I gave, I gave the dog? Give yes, back to you? it's very much appreciated. You didn't need to do that. No, it's the least we can do for the, the amount of help you have done for us. 
Absolutely. In fact, we come with a few more gifts today. Um, I don't know how much use this would be to you, but uh, this sword comes from a different dimension. This was taken from a drow who worked under Krampus. It's very nice. I hope this serves as some kind of trophy for you, or if not, just raw materials. I'm going to give him the poison sword, and then I'm also going to give him the gold potion. But, ooh, you're giving him the gold potion, huh? Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell him this potion is also mystical. If anyone you love dies for any reason that is not natural, put this in their mouth, and they will live. They will come back to life. It is hmm. the least that I can do for you, for all that you've helped us with. Very interesting. I may be able to do something with these. I hope you all the best. Um, and um, I, I, uh, I'm bearing not the best of news. Mm, um, what, what's happened? Uh, your wizard friend down at the winery. Um, he has been captured by Strahd. Um, He's been... He got us the tome, which I'm sure you know about. And Luke's camera has died. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's down again. Man. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two second fix. <laughs> All right, back in the character here. He's been captured. <laughs> yes, and um, we talked to uh, your nephew. I suppose I would call him. Um, the, the oh, you mean son. Little John? Yes, Little John. We spoke with oh, him. Oh, he's my favorite um, nephew. But if you're telling and, uh, me the wizard has been captured, that's not good for us at all. No, Isn't? and um, Little John said it's likely uh. that he won't allow himself to be held. Mm. If... That's very much a correct statement. If he, uh... Ooh, yeah, if he, uh... If he decides that there's no way for himself to escape, uh, he will end his life. Hmm. And Do you I... have any way of contacting him? Mm. Unfortunately, anyway. unfortunately not. All of our communications were through magical items, and I'm sure they've stripped him of all of his belongings by now. Uh... Well, there's only one thing to do. Meet me back here in the morning. It's going to take me we'll at do, least sir. this later half of the day to prepare for what needs to be done. So why don't you guys go to the tavern and just uh, get yourself something to eat and get a room for the night, and we'll meet back here in the morning. Okay. We will, thank Before you. we leave, can I ask you a question? Of course. Has anything strange been happening in the town while we have gone? Has anyone strange passed through? Is there anything we should know that we should be aware of before we... No we visitors as long as far as I am aware. We've had a couple passerbys that just stopped in for supplies and continued right on their way. Uh, the only thing strange that has happened is that the uh, the home break-ins have stopped. We actually uh, found who it was, and thankfully it was just someone who was looking to... Well, actually, it was Spawn of Strahd who no longer wanted to kill. So we've since got him, gotten him out of the town and gotten him a stable situation where he's feeding on... Uh, wild animals, so hmm. should not be a problem. Interesting that he's able to fight off the urge to go to the castle to serve Strahd. It takes a lot of willpower for a spawn to be able to do that. They have an urge to go back to the castle? Yeah, it's always in the back of their minds. They, anytime a vampire has a spawn, there's always the urge to go and serve your master. But if you have high enough willpower, you can fight it. It's just usually not so common. Did he say he was, wait, did he say he was a spawn off him though? Yes. He did, mm -hmm. didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ryan, we might want to check in more frequently than we were originally planning. I agree. Um, it may be a trap. Maybe. Very well could be. And we were foolish to not think of this at first, but We were also foolish to leave him with the family. Yes, we were. I wanted more perfect protection for him. But maybe I shouldn't have been thinking about him and more about the people around him. Um, during the night, I will send an eagle to the family to check on them again. Right. We should probably do this every night. Right. It's well, not a bad plan. to be fair, that is a vamp uh, family of vampire killers. So if they need to, 
They will kill your brother, but... Do I know how vampires work? Yes, you do. Right. So, they will... If they need to, they'll kill your brother, but he will come back. So, it'll be alright. It'll just get him out of the area. Um, anyway. In the meantime, old John, do you have... I mean, we're also here to shop, of course. Um, do you have any magical items that are just really awesome? <laughs> this is really awesome. I love it. Uh, unfortunately, not on hand or any that I can part with, but uh, I can get you boys your basic supplies. Uh, just kind of refill you on whatever you've lost. Right. Uh, how many potions do you have in stock right now? I finally have some coin to spend. All right. I still have one healing potion, just so everyone knows, okay? Hurt? Uh, I... No, you don't. You no longer do. Why? Sorry, we used that. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll buy don't another one. Episode. I'll buy another one. I have fourteen. Uh, have I have fourteen in stock at the moment. And uh, how much? How much for each one? Oh, let's just call it one gold apiece. Special really? friends and family Are you discount. Sure? Friends and family discount. Uh, I, I will buy a lot of them. Um, and I'm just gonna buy all fourteen, and I'm gonna slide him thirty gold. Okay. Because no way am I letting him do that for us. I'm gonna let you boys in on the secret of the trade. These potions only make me about two, cost me about two silver to make a piece. I only charge five because I'm greedy. Well, <laughs> either way, here, take this. You've done us so many kindnesses in the past. And uh, here, I will take all 14. Um, and I'm gonna divvy them up uh, between the three of us. Uh, so I'm gonna give five to the boys and then I'm gonna take four for myself. Okay. Just and FYI, guys, as well. Um, I also, when I leveled up, got two new healing spells. So, you know, nice. nice. And I can heal myself for Big a once a day. Once a day, I can heal myself for a lot. Um, how? What's the roll on the potions, though? Is it a 1d8? Uh, 1d8, yes. 1d8 plus con? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what well, is happening? I... <laughs> gentlemen i am all set uh if you two need to purchase anything feel free uh i'm just gonna go wait by the door thank you again old john and thank you again son of old john uh i'm so sorry um <laughs> fuck i didn't write down his name it's marcus marcus thank you again so much marcus thank you again old john um, I will see you in the morning. Yes. First light. First light, yes. First light. Bright and early. Yep. So we head into the... To the tavern. The yes. Tavern. To, to Eric's favorite ah. place in the world. No. Yeah! Uh, on the way, I'm just gonna pull Eric a little bit aside. Just look. Now. I will not say no to anything. Just make sure you're ready in the morning to go back to old John's bright and early, okay? Okay. Have fun. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, I will. <laughs> and don't piss off the fucking owner. At least not too much. <laughs> okay, so you guys get to the tavern, uh, and you walk in. Uh, you do not see the owner, but you do see the wench. Hello there. <laughs> I, will, I will take... Three drinks for the three of us. Alright. That'll be three and silver. I will... Tell you what, okay. I will get the tavern lady a, a drink too. Uh, you, you can take mine and hand it to her. Okay. I don't drink much. <laughs> Beer, my lady. I probably not drink too much either. <laughs> Alright, so... Bran, uh, why don't we go and get a room? <laughs> so, er, uh, Steve, the, the wench recognizes you from your first <laughs> night together. Uh, she crosses her arms and says, Uh-uh. Not again. No way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Mm. We, we, Roll seduction, oh Steve. Roll, Roll seduction. Yes. Roll seduction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disappointment part two. Wait, what is my seduction? That's going to that? be uh, that's gonna be your charisma modifier, I believe. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, Let's get him, see. Steve get them what is that a plus four or something <laughs> plus three 
plus three. Yeah, get him. Get him, Steve. Good enough. Good enough. You gotta beat her. That's a 15. Alright, let's see. <laughs> She rolled a two. <laughs> yeah! oh, he's, he's in. She, ro she rolls her eyes and she gestures at the stairs and goes, fine, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, shit, where do we go? Huh. We should, we should uh, talk, talk about some current affairs. Oh, man. Well, they're... Uh... Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, shit, about. I need Eric. <laughs> Fucker. Um, All right. Well, while 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 I am up there, I am going to use my cantrip Jack of All Trades. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> 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 R remind me what that does again. <laughs> Let me remind myself. Actually, <laughs> Did I just give you proficiency in sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Jack of all make Oh no, are you gonna have to performance roll this? <laughs> uh starting at second level you can add half your proficiency bonus rounded down to any ability check you make that doesn't already include your proficiency bonus. Oh jeez. So <laughs> I will make you oh, roll wait. for sex. Yes. <laughs> I will I will make it a level five, seeing as now oh, I'm Jesus. A level <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna make up for last time. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to that. All right, so Amon and Brad, you guys are still downstairs. Owner's still nowhere in sight, and the tavern's empty. Uh, so it's just the tables, pretty much. Um, and you, of course, can't go upstairs to a room until you buy one. So what do you want to do? Um, I think we should we should probably sit at a table in the corner, go over some things. And also, it's, it seems a little too quiet in here for my liking. Very quiet. This is strange. Right I'm after gonna... you say that, Steve, go ahead and roll your first performance roll. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's performance? Oh, my God. Guys, 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 guys. Natural one. <laughs> it's a nat 20. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Through I'm the walls, joking. you hear a woman scream, Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if he's uh, murdering Do we need to go uh... check on that? Did he kill her? <laughs> and Steve, because you rolled a nat 20, she's already finished and she passes out. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm sprinting to the room and barging in. Before, before you barge in, I am walking out of the room, buckling my belt up like Woody coming out of that scene in Toy Story 2. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Did you fucking kill her? <laughs> you didn't. Almost. <laughs> and yeah, at that point, I'm barging through the door. Like, <laughs> fucking, like. You see. Just... Brent! Brent, stop <laughs> Eric! <laughs> I'm still downstairs drinking my pint, having not wanting anything so... to do with it. <laughs> 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 so Oman barges in and just sees the top half of a naked woman just passed out snoring on the bed oh god fucking and I'm just gonna walk out close the door <laughs> pass by Eric slap him on the back of the head good fucking job and just <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we rolled down that study on that <laughs> Goodness. I like Mark's role playing. Just. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you have you made yourself made your way back downstairs yet? At this point, yeah. Will, yeah. yeah so I, I'm just coming back to the fucking table. So as you as walk I... downstairs, uh, the owner of the tavern walks through the front door with like a couple bags of groceries. Apparently, he was just out grocery shopping, and she, he looks around, sees you three, and looks around some more, and says, "Where's my daughter?" Uh, we just saw her go upstairs with a strange man. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. we just got drinks here. She met a man and then they went upstairs. Not again. Yeah. Again. You know, I I won't cry. I, uh, uh, can you get a moment? We'd like a room though, just so you know. We'd like a room. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need to get out there. We'll take care guy. of the daughter, but then we will we will take a room. Uh, yeah. I will also try and use cure wounds just in case. 
<laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> squishy, squishy. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, owner says we, we we got we got two vacancies left. You want both rooms or just the one? Let's take them both. Uh, take them both. Mm-hmm. Sure thing. All right. That'll be uh, that'll be three gold per room. Um, is uh, the, are the are the rooms named? Uh, they're numbered. The numbered. Um, on I'll what numbers have left? Uh, tonight I got room four and room seven. Okay, we'll take both, but we'll stay in room four. Okay. Anything? We're going... gonna leave our we're gonna leave our equipment in room seven. Yeah, we've got quite a bit. All right, mm-hmm. that's fair enough. Three three goals per room. Them. Yeah, I'll pay for both rooms. Okay. Thank on you. our way up, on our way up, I'm like, guys, we're staying in room seven. I just want to make sure. Even the owner doesn't know where we are. <laughs> That's a good idea, all things considered. Right. But he still knows that we bought both rooms. He does, but at least we know if he badges through room four, we'll hear it. I suppose so. Eric, you... God damn it. Good job. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you're rolling that 20 on that. I know. <laughs> All right. So you guys just, uh, we'll say that you spend the, the rest of the evening just uh, talking stuff over. You look over the Tome of Strahd, get some information from it. Uh, yes. Uh, boys, now, early on when we talked to that hag, remember, she told us where to find Strahd. And she said it was at the Envied Man's Tomb. Now this two, this, this tome points to, I don't remember any of the tome. I just remember that there was the, the that he was jealous of somebody. What was his yeah. name? Yeah, it was his brother. Or did we not it know? Was, um, it was his brother. Yeah, it was his brother. Gosh, it was like so, I think it was like Sergey or something. So we know Sergey, his brother, is the envied man. So we are going to need to ah. after we find the holy symbol. I don't think that we go to Castle Ravenloft. If we kill him there, it means nothing we need to find his final resting place we do you're right maybe the secret i think he is his final resting place is at his brother's tomb his brother sergey's tomb if anything we need to at least investigate it and see if there's any information there yeah good plan all right uh which one of you had the journal uh from zeke i did luke did okay uh you start to feel uh, a magical presence emanating from your pack. Okay. Are, are we still in the room, right? Yes. Okay, I open it up. Um, we, as I'm opening it up, just I, 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 I say to all man, um, keep, keep an ear to the door. I, I'm still very wary of this place being so quiet. We'll do. Um, and don't forget, send, a, send an eagle to the, the winery. Just to, just I will to make do. Sure. And, maybe uh, and I'm going to go over by the door. Magic. So hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand. You know, I'm actually gonna how big is the hallway? Uh it's about four foot wide, eight foot tall. Okay, so if I meditate right in front of the door, like outside of the room, if I'm meditating there, people can still walk by. Yeah, they'll 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 be able to squeeze by you, no trouble. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna meditate right outside of the room. Okay. Uh boys, if you hear two knocks, that means trouble get Eric the fuck out of here. Okay, but also there could be other trouble apart from. True. So if you hear two knocks, get the hell out. Okay. And I'll uh, okay, I am. Uh, okay. if, if 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 we need to go, go to Old John's. Regardless mm-hmm. of whether he's there, we'll fight from there if need be. I agree. Okay, I open up the book. Okay. So Not reading where it is. Yep. So there's a there's a note from Zeke. Uh, he's found uh, the. Uh, the leader of the uh, I can't remember what the group's called the Silver Dragon uh, the Silver Dragon yeah. yeah. so uh, he's found the leader um, and things did not go so well since Zeke was a vampire uh, Zeke is hurt very badly uh, and while he is uh, healing up from his wounds uh, the attack on the castle is still planned um, but you aren't going to have help from the Silver Dragon as far as you're aware um, we're not gonna have help. You're not gonna have help from them. Um, from from at least that's what Zeke got when they skewered him. But 
Uh, but uh, he requests that you start making your way towards the castle. Uh, he has all his other groups of uh, rebellion fighters just uh, slowly making their way. Uh, so we're about we're about a, a week off from the the big assault on the castle. Okay. Can I ask him where he is? Uh, you write it. Uh, he does respond right away. Uh, he's uh, out in... Uh, hold on a second. Let me get to... I'm moving the map around. Ignore me. Uh, <laughs> uh, he is deep in the old Sphalic Woods, uh, which is uh, north of the uh, the castle. Uh, it's so... It's like a very, very dense forest. Um even okay. uh, more dense than what you guys experienced uh, prior to seeing the Wizard of the Wines. Okay. And um, can I ask him um, whereabouts are we meeting the rest of the people near the castle? Whereabouts is it? Is it just in the front of the castle? Or? Uh, they're gonna. You guys are going to meet in the village of Barovia, which is uh, just south of the castle. Um, it's probably one of the largest towns in the area. Uh, many, many inns and taverns it's like a big bustling town so uh a group of uh as long as you guys don't like brandish weapons and like shout that you're the rebellion or whatever you should fit in uh without tripping any alarms or anything okay um i'm just gonna then ask him is there any anything any more information we should know before we, we set off on our journey uh, he asks if you've acquired both the, or he no, he knows you have the sun sword. He's he asks if you have acquired the tome. Um, guys, he's asking if we've acquired the tome, and I still don't trust him. Should I tell him straight that we have it, or should we just hold off for now? We might as well tell him. The more honest we are with him, I don't know. The less likely he's gonna think we're up against him. At the end of the day if he's looking after himself and he thinks we lie to him or we he finds out that we lie to him, you never know what'll happen. I agree. I agree. Okay. Yeah, I tell him what happened. Would he, yeah. Okay. Would, would he also ask about the holy symbol? Um yes he would. He'll we'll get to that in a second. Um Okay. So he uh he knows you have the tome now. He says when you come to the castle do not bring the tome because if Strahd gets his hands on it, uh, that could spell disaster for uh, everything that you guys have worked towards. Okay, could leave it with old John. I yeah, I don't trust anyone. I think we leave it in a place where nobody knows where it is. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but until then, uh, I ask: is, is there anything else we should know? Uh, he says, if you can find the holy symbol of Ravenkind, it'll help in the fight against Strahd. Um, but he has not been able to track any clue to where its whereabouts are. Okay. Um, and then, in that uh, case, I... you feel the, the magic, magic fade, like he, uh, he's either put it down or, uh, he might be, like, too tired and is healing or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I just put the book back. Um, oh man, are you are you in the corridor? Are you are you still in the corridor or? He's still meditating. Yeah. Oh, you meditating? Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm outside the room, like right in front of the door. Okay. In that case, um, before I go and speak to him, um, is there is there a window looking outside? Yes, there is. You gonna uh, summon your eagle? Yeah, I'm gonna summon an eagle and just um, tear another piece off and write on there. Um, we may have found a flaw in the binding of Vampires to Strahd. Um, if anything that's going strange with uh, Rock, my brother, um, please either restrain or in last resort terminate and um, and and just wait out. We will be there. We will be back. Um, if you need to send me something back, please send it. Please write it on this note, and the eagle will bring it back to me. And then I just... All right, gone. eagle flies away. No problems uh, whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, cool. by, by this time, it is now, like, dark. It's night. Um, do you guys want to rest up for the night, or do you guys want to talk a, 
a little bit more? Or... Um, I'm okay resting up, but I want to put sentries. Yeah, yeah, sentries. sentries. Always. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to go in and tap you on the shoulder, old man, and just be like, um, the, write the writing in the book stays in the book, right? It doesn't, like, disappear after the person's gone, or... Right. It, it, okay. It, it stays um, until the person who wrote it erases it from their book. Okay, okay. okay. Um, I just tapped <clears throat> you on the shoulder, old man, and um, we did get in contact with Zeke. Um, everything is here in the book for you to read over. Um, if you would like to stay meditating and take the first century... Please go ahead. Um, wake me up whenever you're ready. Now take the next entry. I think um, Eric needs some sleep. Thank you. Yes, uh, I would not be surprised. <laughs> uh, why don't you two get some rest? Um, I'll stay up for first guard and I'll give this a read over in the meantime. Um, who wants second? I'll wake you up. I'll take time. I'll take second. You'll take second. All right. I'll take second. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're just gonna say the entire night goes by without any incident. Uh, no strange happenings or anything watches go by fine um and it's just before first light uh d you are on the current watch so uh mm -hmm. it is uh up to you to go wake the boys cool i uh i won't kick the door but i'll just like open it nice and loud and be like morning guys <laughs> uh, uh, how hey, you guys how did you enjoy your night <laughs> I, I, did, you didn't hear anything strange on Sentry? Nothing nope. from the owner of the of the tavern? Nope. Good. Nothing. All right. Well, I think in that case, something. well, yeah, I think it is something. <laughs> I uh, think while you two... Let's, Sorry, go before we do anything, let's go check the other room. See if That's exactly what I was about to tackles. say. <laughs> okay. So uh, you, <laughs> guys, like you guys go to uh, the room open it your stuff has not been touched uh it doesn't seem like oh i didn't leave my stuff in there fuck no yeah <laughs> right all right right but, but um, nothing there was yeah there. nothing's been, been touched, touched at all uh okay good. yep okay okay all right you boys go to the top of the hallway i'm going to go down first and i will be very loud at the owners here in that case eric find another fucking way out of <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, it's still before light. You go down. Uh, nobody's downstairs yet. Uh, everybody, as far as you're aware, is still asleep. Okay, creeping out now. Eric, quick, <laughs> fucking yep. Go quick. Right. Scrawny ass lines out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, walk out. It's a chilly morning. A uh, little bit of fog rolling in, um, and you make your way to the the general store. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna walk in and see if old John is at the counter. Yeah. Uh, he is not, but you do hear like a little bit of rustling coming from the back room. Okay. Okay. Um. um hello, John. He he, uh, he he says, "Hold on, just a minute. I'll be right out." Good thing. Thank you. <laughs> I had to say, oh, John! John! <laughs> why, don't Jenny, you, uh, why don't you boys wait for um, me outside? I'll be out in just a moment. We have to get moving. Okay. Is the dog around? We have to get moving. Are, uh, you, are you accompanying us on our travels? Just wait outside, you young whippersnappers. All right. Well, okay. might as well. And you do see the dog, by the way. He's, uh, he's just rubbing up against your legs, just wanting some pets. Okay. You want to come outside, okay. little boy? Get some fresh air. I bring him out for a little bit. Let him pee on a right. post. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, a moment passes by, and you hear the uh, the door uh, of the store uh, open, and you look over, and instead of seeing the old John you're used to, he is clad in full plate armor. Uh, uh, that Oman, you would probably recognize as Paladin's armor. Uh, and he wears the largest great sword you have ever seen strung across his back that looks brand spanking new. John, you don't look a day over 20, my lord. Well, if the wizard's been captured, I can't let that go unpunished. We are going to Castle Ravenloft to get him back. Uh, John, Since how long have you been a paladin? Oh, I haven't seen combat in about 80 years, but 
<laughs> it's like riding a bicycle. John, I don't think... Let's hope. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do this, John. And if anything, he may have already passed away. Oh, never gonna tell. <coughs> Excuse me, can't tell until you go see for yourself. And I've been stuck in this village far too long. I need to get out and see the world again. Ren, I recognize the look in his eyes. There is nothing that we're going to be able to do to stop him. Regardless of whether or not we and go, he's going all, to go. All three of you go Might ahead and well. roll perception. Might as well. Help him along his journey. Well, that's not bad. Uh, 14. Okay. I got 18. Okay. I got... Where's my perception? I got 12. Oh, okay, you all see um, you see a pendant around his neck that you all instantly recognize from the tome as being the holy symbol of Ravenkind. You've got the holy... Oh <laughs> so, well. please, so you must know what that symbol does. Please tell us we were instructed oh. to find that. Oh, I'm aware. Uh, I'm not just any old coot, you know. I used to guard the uh, the old uh, the old tombs. The oh. old tombs. I used to be a oh. royal paladin. Sergei. Well, uh, well, in that case, among others, you yes. Would be, you would be where, a very good where, where is this tomb? We uh, believe that may be the final resting place of Strahd. Well, they are on the castle grounds, along with all of Strahd's other ancestors. Um, I don't know whether Strahd himself has moved his own remains to protect himself, but if he kept it on the family burial grounds, it's deep within the castle walls. I We have reason to believe that either his remains are with his brother Sergei's, or there's something meant for us there that we're supposed to find. So we may have to lure Strahd there, if possible. Hmm, that we can probably do. Uh, Dan, go ahead and roll another perception check. Uh, that is a 15. Okay, so you see on the sword that he's carrying, the big conking great sword, you recognize on the blade the colors from both the poison short sword blade and the color from the gold vial. So is this what you were talking about when you said you could use those things I gave you? Well, I don't know exactly what it's going to do yet, but we're going to find out. Okay. Mm, that's curious. I'm excited. <laughs> how how long of a journey is it from here to the castle? Well, if uh, we only stop once, it should only take about two days. We just have to cross the Ravenloft Moors and then uh, take the path through the Svalik Woods and we're ha at the village of Barovia. And then it's about a six-hour walk to the castle. Good. Okay. We only have one last article of business then. Um, we need to keep the Tomb of Strahd safe and hidden. Hmm. Do you have any ideas where a good place might be? I wonder if this thing still works. He pulls out uh, a rickety old wooden box from a bottom shelf behind the counter. Um, and he slowly, like, really carefully, like his life depends on it, just creaks the lid open a little bit. And uh, he just kind of puts an eye close to it and says... All right, it must be dead by now. And he opens up the rest of the way. Uh, it just, <laughs> it flies open. Um, and go ahead and uh, roll perception. <laughs> wow. 10. Uh, five. I got 11. All right, so uh, Oman and Bran, you faintly smell the odor of dead carcass coming from the box. Okay. And he goes, I will not all right, ask. let me see that book. What the hell is that? You don't want to know. Just give me the book. <laughs> uh, right. Here. Okay. Take it. All right. He, he slowly uh, puts it inside the box, still reaching like his arm all the way in. And he just like kind of his whole arm disappears into the box, followed by his shoulders, then his head. And then he goes, uh, can you pull my legs out? I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to grab him and pull him back out. It's like, oh, gosh, that's what I get for not oh, not working out as much as I'm supposed to. <laughs> and he closes the lid to the books and puts it back underneath. 
What the? Will. What the fuck? Will Strahd be able to detect that it's in there? What? I am so confused. <laughs> oh, it's just one of my old friend's experiments, uh, the wizard. He, uh, he attempted to make a bag of holding once. Uh, and this was <laughs> one of the less faulty experiments. Uh, it created a, a void, if you will, uh, that has its own little pocket dimension. Uh, not nearly big enough to be a bag of holding, but it's enough to store certain things in. Did he? Did he figure out how to make a bag of holding? Uh, I think he has. <laughs> I think he has one. I think he did figure it out eventually. We must save him. <laughs> save him. <laughs> oh, you really want go. that bag? <laughs> Let's get on our way. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you guys pack up and head to the gate. Um, the the gate guard recognizes old john and goes you never leave town <laughs> and then sees the armor and just like goes white and he just opens the door and lets you guys leave nice it's about to go down all right yeah and we are going to call that episode there guys oh. we're gonna call it there <laughs> yes oh man Whew. so what do you guys think yeah. about paladin john <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, have <laughs> got a well paladin expected. and a wizard. We still... So, are we gonna... Is this like the... Uh, like, ocean style, like, getting the crew back together? Like, are we <laughs> finally found <laughs> allies? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, you guys are gonna need all the allies you can in the final fight. Trust me. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, we will. The final yeah. fight's probably gonna take at least two parts. Well, you say that, but there's a chance it could be over in five minutes. Well, yeah. possibility. Very true. That is very true. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luke, you don't know. So, Santa gave my uh, weapon the Vorpal ability. Uh, if I hit a nat 20 on anything, it just dies, regardless. And if I hit it on a legendary creature like Strahd, he has to roll a saving throw against it. And if he fails, he just dies. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah beheads That's if you can get to him, though. That's true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna we'll call it there, boys. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. As always, it's always a blast doing these. It's my favorite day of the week, uh, and this is it's it's really getting good. I can't wait to get to the the castle and just have you guys start like in combat just right off the bat. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. All right. Well, we will see everybody next week for part nine. And don't forget to check out our social media pages over on Twitter and Instagram and our streams over on Twitch on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays from 12 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Where we're streaming all kinds of cool stuff like the forest and Dead by Daylight and eventually maybe back into Warzone if they fix their shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and True. until next time, this is Mark Steed, Dan and and Luke signing off. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.